Jimmy Snooker, Jimmy Supervised Slook Snooker passed away uh, yesterday. A lot of people are going to have uh, mixed feelings, including myself. You can't deny that the guy was uh, uh, an icon. He uh, definitely safe to say I think inspired other wrestlers, you know, um, like Mick Foley. Mick Foley who jumped off the top of his roof, roof, similar to what Snooker did off the cage. You know, guy couldn't really cut a promo, uh, but. When Snuka just walked down to the ring, he got always a, a loud reaction just watching old MSG house shows. Always a loud reaction. And then you would see him get down on one knee and give, uh, you know, the fans the um, I love you sign. And everyone back then in the garden shows, they loved him back. Could he have been a world champion? Should he have been a world champion? Probably. Um, you know, uh, probably. Probably. You couldn't cut a promo, but his actions in the ring were a, a thing of art. You know, and then you have a faithful night, a horrible incident that, uh, that would change his career path. With what seems to be the death um, of his, uh, uh, at the time, many people feel that he was responsible, maybe was an accident, of the death of his uh, girlfriend. Now, obviously, I just don't want to go into the whole thing, but I could, but, you know, this whole incident with Snuka, Snuka and his girlfriend, it just can't be dismissed as much as a lot of guys uh, just want to remember him. It, it can't be dismissed. It's still there, and you know, as something that happened. You know, I now I know he was. Uh, the case was dismissed, maybe because he was incompetent to stand trial. So I remember being as a kid being mesmerized by his moves. Um, of course, you remember the Piper's Pit segment. Um, with the coconut, a very, you know, very just mixed feelings on, um, Jimmy Snooker. I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon.